Hey folks, welcome to Black Gumbo. I'm going to pot some okra seedlings and see if we can't grow them in containers this year. Let's go. All right, we're going to plant our okra. We've got our starts here. It's starting to look good. We put these up in uh, these little pots and sowed them. And we did our little soak or dry experiment and starting to get their true leaves now so it's time to put these in a pot we could wait a little longer if we wanted to but it's hard to keep these things from drying out in these little pots and so I want to get them into some larger pots where we can keep the soil a little more regulated just a basic potting soil mix any potting soil would, will do. I'm not gonna amend this with anything because okra will grow in just about any kind of soil. Uh, this is pretty fertile and I'm just gonna continue through the summer to fertilize this maybe on a two week rotation with a water soluble fertilizer and maybe some of the uh, really nasty fertilizers that I've been brewing over there in the compost area. We'll see how that works and how these respond. When I was a kid, behind my house is a big open field, and somebody dumped a bunch of okra scraps back there, and they just took off, and, and for years they colonized this area of nothing but black gumbo clay, and they grew really well, so I know these will do well. This is a summer crop, they're a heat-loving crop, and if you put them in a pot, you can raise them just as well as you could in the ground. So I'm going to put three starts per pot, and so I've got these bowling reds i've got some jing orange and i have another red variety i've got them all mixed up now hcr i forgot what that stands for but it's a red variety also and i'm going to keep like kinds together except over in that one over there i've got some leftovers and we're going to have some red okra this year so it couldn't be easier you just put a hole in the soil and drop this thing in got to be careful though with these very young plants I'd really like to give these a little more time to mature, but like I said, I'm having a hard time regulating the moisture in these pots, and you can see they're already kind of looking sad. So I figure now it's just as good a time as any to get them in if I'm careful with them. And so you can see their roots haven't even reached the uh, bottom of the, of the container yet, but they will do much better here in this soil where there's more moisture to be had. And like I said, once they're over transplant shock, I'll come in and trim out the weakest of the two plants that I started. And we'll be left with just three plants in each pot. There's some roots down there. So very gently drop that one in. So that's already starting to fall apart there. These okra plants can put on some serious roots. And they can get pretty darn big. I don't know how big they're going to get in this, uh, these containers, and I don't know about this particular variety, these three varieties, how big they get. I have not grown these before. But if they're like the okras I have grown before, they'll get pretty good size. All right. All that's left is to put a label in here, water them in real well, and mulch them so they don't just sit out here and bake in the sun. Now I'm going to use some rice hulls as mulch around these baby plants because it's a delicate mulch and it's not going to you know, really crowd out these plants and, and, and come up way high on it. And then in the in the more open areas, I'm gonna put my leaf mulch down. But this is just a more, a more delicate mulch. And rice holes have micronutrients that you don't get in the oak leaf mulch. It's a good soil amendment. So I'm gonna use this in here to help retain moisture. But also, so I don't have to pack it real high around these, uh, these delicate stalks here. And then to hold that in place, 
on all these open areas, I'll just put my oak leaf mulch, which got some compost and it. it's breaking down. This is old stuff. You see, I'm not getting right up against the plant. There we go. We've got it all watered in, ready to grow. Those that are laying down, they'll stand up soon. And we're going to see how this works. Well, there we go. We've got some okra growing in a pot. I don't know if it's going to work. I've seen guys grow okra in pots on rooftops in India and all over the world. They grow these things in pots and people uh, get a lot of fruit off of them. So I figure, well, traditionally here in the south, we plant them out in rows in our gardens and grow them to big eight foot tall plants. But you know, I don't have rows. I don't have room, but I got some pots. I think we can make a go of it. So yeah, if those folks can do it and they can grow three, four, five plants in a pot, I've seen some guys do that, then we'll be able to get some okra off these guys. Yeah, interesting, huh? Red varieties, looking forward to those. Well, hey, thanks for joining us on Black Gumbo. I'm glad you stopped by. I really appreciate all the subscribes and, and the comments you've been leaving. I'll try to get to your comments if I can. And uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already, that really encourages us. We've got an Instagram account that's got some pictures there and a Facebook page and sometimes I'll post some video updates that don't really, uh, aren't big enough or, or you know, interesting enough to go as its own YouTube video, but I'll put them over there on Facebook and uh, you can see what's going on in the garden there. So like us over there too. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Bye-bye.